Hi. Hi, and welcome to the Sisterhood Smarts show, where we demystify all things. Today's smart guest is the incredible <laughs> Priscilla LaPierre. Hi, Priscilla. You. How are Everyone. you? Everyone. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very good. I'm very happy to be here with you guys, you girls. <laughs> and uh, thank you for inviting me. Great always, honor. always, always. I think the great mother Sophia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she linked up the, 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 the trilogy, you know, like the third the third person in the because uh, that's what we were saying last time, remember? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got the three parts, you know, the third three part goddess and you know, Sophia is much more than three, of course, but yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah. And with us is my co-host Shazi Shaz. For those of you who Hello. know why Shaz was not there in the past shows, I want to thank you for the prayers and the good energy. It's like all the love you all sent. Everybody was so positive and sending <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful energy to you, Shah. Yeah. So thank yeah. you, everybody. She's yeah. here in the flesh. <laughs> Welcome, Sha. How are you doing? Thank you. I'm good. I'm good now. Everything yeah. is good. So I'm happy to be here. I'm with, really happy you know, to be with you guys. and with you, Priscilla. And thank you for you know coming to our show. Mm. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. I'm really happy to be here. <laughs> here also, yeah, yeah. Nice to have you on. <clears throat> and uh, I want to remind you all that Priscilla's information, including her bio, is going to be in the description. It's very extensive, people. So I invite you all to please take a minute and go into the description and read about her incredible work and uh, go and visit the links to her work and get some insights into the amazing work she's doing. Okay. We have a lot of smart women over here. And I always tell you how their bios are so long. We could do a whole show <laughs> just going through their bios. And so we do we, we do you guys a service actually by putting it in the bio and jumping yeah. right into the, uh, the, the discussion. So I think um Priscilla, we should start by one of your main areas, which was mm-hmm. extremely fascinating to us, and that is the sacred feminine crystalline energies yeah and i think i would like you to start by telling us how you discovered okay how you discovered um your calling to yeah the sacred feminine crystalline energies oh wow that's a beautiful question thank you it's been uh very very um You know, like not sneaky, but this has been in the narrative through everything I've done since the beginning. And it took me a while, you know, to understand it because you don't start this and understand what you're going through. But I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through it a little bit. Like in the beginning, when I started in the very beginning, like the first group meditation I did, okay, it was on the 144, you know, the 144,000 fractals and we had to bury a crystal in the earth, right? And I didn't really know what, what, what this, was that about. You know, I just did it because I liked the girl and, you know, I was, in, I was more like into the just surface new age stuff, you know? I didn't really know what it was about. And, um, you know, as I started studying stuff, um, I started learning about Gnosticism and I started learning about Wicca and everything is like linked, you know, like all, all the... Um, because with the uh, the sacred Sophia, with me, I see a lot through my mind, right? But, I mean, for me to understand that all this is real and all this is um, really going on, I had to go through, because me, like in 2019, I had no idea about nothing. I was atheist, you know? And I started having sightings, you know, with the crafts and everything. And they really are the ones that woke me up and I started studying. So I studied a lot of things, but, um, you know, yeah, through it, um, there was the Wicca, there was the Kabbalah, you know, there was uh, the Gnosticism, and there's the witchcraft magic, you know, that I've studied a lot. And people always are a little bit spooked by that, but let it be known that um, all that we say is spelling, you know? When you spell, when you cast a spell, you're talking, right? So all that we say, all that we do, it like in English, especially the English language, it's uh, when you spell words, like it's spelling. So we have to be careful with the concepts here, right? Because the Sophia energy 
is really the whole uh, encompassing uh, archetypes, you know, all of them. And that's from Mother Mary to Lilith to, you know, Hecate and to like Diana, whatever, all of them, you know. So, and that's how me, I really like manage to like hold my, uh, my ground because my uh, journey has been very, very, uh, let's say I've been attacked a lot, you know, by everyone and everything because there's a lot of layers to what I do, you know. But basically, um, the whole system here on Earth is very patriarchal, you know, and they've demonized the goddess, you know. And that's why I wanted to say about the, the witchcraft and everything because it's been demonized and it's like in Star Wars. The force is the force, you know. It's good or it's bad. It's, it's neutral. It's how you're going to use it and what you're going to do with it. And yeah, to me, the difference really is uh, when you're doing this for yourself or you're doing it for everyone in the collective, including yourself, you know, like in it. So that's the difference between good and bad or service to self, service to others or whatever, you know, like in the mainstream, uh, main, main uh, streams of narratives. Yeah, that's what I mean. You have a question. But my question is, oh, okay. But I'm thinking like, I mean, if I understand it correctly, like, is it like you can feel things, you know, like you can sense things, you know, like people, sometimes they can feel like things or signs or, oh. and sometimes it's so powerful, you know, like you can, in advance, you can feel like, okay, you know, this thing will go wrong or I feel this, you know, mm. like, it, 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 is it like, is that you, how you feel? Like, I mean, you're asking like, about my capacities, my, yeah, it's yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, my uh, abilities are very, uh, they're very intense. Okay. Mm. Like I see, um, I see a lot, but like many things I see, okay. I have like kind of quantum vision if you want, like I can see like the, the morphogenetic fields, you know, through my physical eyes, the way I'm going to look at it. I can see the auras on people. Mm -hmm. I see, uh, the energy streaming out of the people, you know, mm -hmm. um, with navigating and my discernment, I'm not so good. <laughs> you know, I had to, no, it's true. I had to learn because I'm easily uh, fooled. You know, I was easily fooled more than now because uh, I was very green. I didn't know. And I was seeing a lot and I was interacting with a lot of beings and stuff. So I, I learned the hard way a little bit on that. Okay. But um, concerning the, uh, the feminine energy, the sacred feminine energy, uh, the first archetypal um, aspect of Sophia that I really had, and even now I feel her behind me, it's Lilith, you know, mm. like Lilith, she really, uh, you know, she got me under her, her wing, like she's really, and me, I'm very, I'm very nice, and I'm, I'm very not nice too, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like it's like I'm very very everything <laughs> that I'm doing I, if I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do good <laughs> so whether it's good or bad or like you get yeah yeah I tell my kids which one you want you know like you want mother Mary or you want Lilith like tell me now <laughs> <laughs> it's you know, so funny you're talking about Lilith I, I can't help thinking about Eve Yep. You know? because absolutely everybody you know we we were we were um openly taught about eve and i don't yep. think the true version of eve but i'll leave it there because i've read some old books you know about yeah. eve um but nobody really talks about who lilith is because now as mm. you mentioned Lilith, i'm sure some of our listeners have never heard of her or they don't okay. know who she is or mm. they know what they have been told she is Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Clear. Because they demonize your name. <laughs> yeah, they demonize the the feminine energy because you know through the sexual, you know, the men that are allowed to have you know affairs and and be like, you know, going from one flower to another. But us, no, not that I would think that it's good for any of us. But I mean, you know, like it's been very uh, um, uh, painted on the wall. This is that, and this is that, and that's how it is, you know. And Lilith is the first wife if you want of adam kind of thing okay mm -hmm. because in the beginning uh as it's you know i wasn't there so i mean <laughs> by all means <laughs> you know I'm, I'm i'm just like explaining it as they uh depict it in the uh, gnostic 
teachings, okay? And agnostic texts, they're really like the uh, from the Nag Mahadi uh, teachings and all that, like the Book of the Rulers and all that. It's like the creation of this realm here that was uh, basically um, emanated from Sophia. You know, like Sophia, she, um, as she's like the sacred feminine, Okay, she's like uh, separated from source. Okay, they 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 did the two parts, and then she, on her own, decided to create a universe, which is this universe here, and um, her offspring, which was like uh, they call him uh, uh, Yoldabaoth, which is like um, the demi urge. Okay, uh, he would be the creator of this realm, but it's like through her and he don't know. So that's why they call him like the blind God, right? He's like, and the return of the goddess would be like the fixing of this a little bit, you know, like the fixing of this uh, reality that they created together without even knowing kind of, of you know. And when, um, yeah, when uh, Yoldabaoth, you know, and the Archons, they created Adam from uh, the clay and everything. They created also Lilith. Okay. But uh, their creation, they, they weren't like moving. Okay. And it's Sophia that she came and she's like, Sophia, she's like the, the Holy Spirit, if you want. Mm. Okay. Mm. So she uh, breathed into them life. And, uh, but she said to Yoldabaoth to do it because she's so good. You know, she's like, you do it. And she's doing it, but he doesn't know, like, it's funny. <laughs> when you get that, it's like very nurturing kind of thing because she doesn't want to rub him the wrong way, right? <laughs> <Okay. laughs> kind of. So anyways, you know, she puts life into, you know, they, they put life into the, the beings, the two beings. And uh, they were alive. And I mean, I, I might be butchering some little parts here. I'm just like wrapping it up to understand. Uh, yeah, I know. The, the text is, that you're talking about, these are it's very really long. broad yeah, yeah, yeah. texts. Like the yeah, Nostrum, yeah, yeah. the Mahamadi. <laughs> Yeah, she's really. She. Got, I mean, yeah. You have yeah. To, you I'm know, just like uh, really. Uh, <laughs> but basically, Lilith, she was really equal to uh, mm. Adam, right? And um, the patriarchal archons and uh, you know Yahweh and everything, you know Yaldabaoth, whoever you want to call him. Um, <clears throat> They were like wanting it to be patriarchal, patriarchal more. So they kind of got into fights. In the in the text, they they say that it's because uh, he wouldn't let her be on him, like for sexual intercourse. But I mean, that's really like not too convincing to me. I guess there was more than that, you know, than who, mm. who's going to be on top on sex, you know. <laughs> but I mean, um, it's like was about. It's like it's like a uh, metaphor, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I know it's ridiculous. Like, come on. But I think there must have been more issues. But the issue mm. was that they wouldn't give her the same, uh, you know, uh, prob uh, you know, um, they wouldn't put her equal. And she was like, you know what? I don't, I don't need you. I'm, I'm gonna go there. Bye. And she just oh. left. Yeah, yeah, she left. <laughs> she wow. left, and okay. yeah, yeah, she left, and she was like, ah, uh, nope. I don't want this. I don't need y'all. You know, she was, she, she owned her, her, she was maybe embodying more of the Sophia. Maybe I don't know why she acted like this, but it was like, probably she was persecuted or not treated mm -hmm. fairly or whatever. Her fire didn't let her, you know, and then, uh, Yahweh, he sent Archangel Michael, Archangel, uh, Gabriel, I think, and, uh, Raphael. I think it's just those three he sent, uh, to her to try and talk to her. And she, mm -hmm. she didn't listen to her. She was like, y'all go away. No. And then she, um, yeah, you know, she basically, she wanted to decide herself. You want yeah. any, anybody else like decide for her or tell her like what to do or. Yeah. And any. it's like the first time that I kind of, make the link right now in my head because mm -hmm. you know like how Sophia decided to do the universe by herself then she decided to go and they say that Lilith she's the mother of all demons you know she mm. created all the demons but yeah. but demon is diamond and diamond is deity you know like it's in the ancient text okay the yeah. word diamond it's d-a-e-m-o-n it's like a diamond and it's 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 like a gin and it's like um a deity you know it's like a, a god kind of thing yeah so, yeah. yeah yeah it's it's really the interpretation and it's the ones that are not with the, the first batch you know it's like right. none of them are really right it's like just two clicks really 
Yes. It's not one is right, one is wrong, and whatever. They're just clicks. They're just mm -hmm. like fractals and just like wanting to have the, you know, they, they see things differently and everything, I guess, you know? Yeah. So when uh, Adam and Eve, then they yeah. created Eve through the, you know, a part of Adam. And mm -hmm. that's like also linking up to the Anunnaki, you know, like the Anunnaki, when you uh, study the text of the Anunnaki really well, mm -hmm. um, kind of Enki with his sister, you know, mm -hmm. they created Adam, Adamo, you know, and mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, this, it's, it's really always the same story here, but it's depicted right. in different t types of uh, narratives, not, not, nar not narratives, it's different uh, epochs and it's different frequencies also, because like the Anunnaki, it's more like a, a little bit of ET type you know, and when you go with the uh, Sophia, it's really more into the spiritual realm. But all this is the same because now with quantum physics, you know, we really explain the spirituality with the quantum physics. You know, mm -hmm. it's like and, and it comes back to your question, how I see I see mm -hmm. quantum. For me, everything is like particles. For me, everything is energy. Like I, I see the the stargates and I see the star maps and I see uh the grids and um, the crystals and everything. So it's like multi-layered, you know, on how um, all is. It's like us. We're not just our physical bodies. We're many, many uh, different <laughs> aspects. Like, and, aspects, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we're our higher self and we're mm -hmm. our monad. And ultimately, we're kind of source, you know. It's like just we're all fractals, you know. Is it also so, like when you, it's like, is it also like when you die? I mean, when you're going to go away from this you know this world then mm -hmm. you know like then you know you're still here but just in another world or you know yeah it's very quantum and it's very um multi-layered like let's say okay let's say um okay us humans right now we're able yeah. to talk, okay? And we're, we would be able, as we're talking, to think of another image and another mm. scene in our head, right? With everything mm. that's going on there and keep focus on both, right? Well, for our higher selves or our um, expanded <clears throat> aspects, they can do that with a lot, you know? Like they're able mm. to be consciously paying attention to multiple, you know, realities and aspects and stuff like that. So... I don't think that we ever die, you know, like we get out of this body and yeah. that part of you, depending on where you are with your uh, conscious evolution and mm -hmm. your way of navigating through the reality, because it's like a maze within a maze within a maze within a maze, because you always have to understand more until mm. you go back to being complete. Because like here, you know, like when we start waking up, how we understand that this is not what it, what it seems, right? Mm -mm. right you're like oh boy we're not out of the woods but <clears throat> sorry my voice is really bad because i was sick oh, but um oh. when you start navigating the astral which is like the yes. fourth fourth density yes. just right over same thing in the beginning you think you think you're all good and everything no, 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 no. it's like traps and it's like here it's like and it's not bad or good it's just like the soul evolution and mm -hmm. that's what we do because i guess when you're an infinite being you're like okay so what do we do now I don't know. Like yeah, what? yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But definitely, I also, I mean, talking, some, some, um, yeah. When you were talking about um, Lilith and mm -hmm. Eve and the, the great mother and the sacred uh, family. Yeah, I didn't finish there. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was thinking about, you know, we live in this, in this realm. It's, you know, people say we live, you know, it's mother nature. You know, yep. we're living in her body, right? And there's, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, you know, have different mm. parts of the, you know, the heart is here and, the, you know, the lungs yep. are here. So we are living in her body. But there was this um, erasure, like deletion of the mother, but we are mm -hmm. living in her. Mm -hmm. And I like the work you're doing with supporting Mother Gaia. Yeah. And I'm also wondering why you picked Gaia, because there's so many names for the Great Mother. There's Tara, there's Tiamat, and there's... Yeah. Yeah, I always wonder why do people pick... Some people pick Tara, some people pick Tiamat, some people pick Gaia. Can you just walk me through this and then tell yeah. me how you support her? Yeah, it's a very good question. Yeah, you uh, on the Tiamat, Gaia. Yeah. <laughs> Tiamat uh, was... Uh, 
a big planet and uh, it got destroyed with uh, the galactic wars and it's Tiamat is Earth now, a part of it, and the um, asteroid belt, okay? It's, uh, it's the explosion, and Tiamat is also the great dragon, the great black dragon, and um, yeah, so when Tiamat explo exploded, it created Earth here, okay? And like, Gaia is the uh, fifth dimensional aspect, if you want, of this earth here. And Tara, well, to me, I mean, I don't have all the ultimate answers, but from my understanding, mm -hmm. Tara is like even higher in aspects, you know, because like everything is quantum again and everything is already there, like in the field. It's not like time exists, you know? So all the things are there at the same time. We experience it through time, but... Um, yeah so tara is is yeah when you say that you know it's like it, it rings like pleiadians you know like seventh density to me uh the aspect of the earth there uh which is like to us way in the future you know and maybe mm -hmm. gaia would be more um what's coming you know yeah oh okay and yeah. how do you how do you then support mother gaia well, because I she mean, a lot. We know yeah, yeah, yeah. before we came on, people we were talking about what the mother is going through, and it is yeah. And it's like, uh, yeah. well, first of all, I think that um, the ones that are awakening, okay, um, and the ones that are really doing kind of grid work, um, they're really um, bringing in. Um, the 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 information the codes if you want because people say like uh oh i got a download or i got um what are the terms they use uh, uh download and I, i'm channeling uh, information or whatever but it's really more like wi-fi you know and you're getting information so me personally what i do is that i i go through the portals of the sun and alcyone to sirius and i get the information from sirius Did you say Alcyon? Yeah, Alcyon. Yeah. Alcyon. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because because it's like the the sun. It's a big word, you know. That's not yeah, just a word, you know. It's a big one, you know. Yeah, it's it's in the Pleiades because it's like the the sun is the portal, okay, to go to the stargates. It's a it's the access point to this realm here, you know. It's our logos, if you want, like in the Gnostic text, they're gonna call it the logos. And uh, Alcyone is like uh, the Can you central. Spell it? Uh, A L C Y uh, L C O N E Alcyone Alcyone. Oh, it's Alcyone. in the Pleiades. Yeah, mm. yeah. Maybe I'm not pronouncing it uh, correctly. Yeah. No, it was. I thought yeah. something else. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, Alcyone in the Pleiades. You know, <clears throat> that's the central sun, and mm -hmm. Sirius is the grand central sun from where, uh, you know, like the, the the pyramids and everything. They're aligned with Sirius and the Orion Belt and everything. It's it's a big clocking system. All of it with the stars and everything. So. <sighs> This is a bit complicated, but I'm going to try and explain. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. uh, if you go with the uh, more galactic pers perspective, okay, and the Anunnaki and everything, they messed with our grids. They messed with the stream of source, if you want, okay? You can say it like mm -hmm. that. And they uh, kinked a little bit, you know, and they bypassed the, uh, the streams of, of information to their universes, okay? And right now what we're kind of doing, the ones that are doing the grid work, we're realigning with uh, the, the organic, uh, you know, tree of, of life, if you want, you know, the organic mm -hmm. stargates. Because everything is the same thing. Like either you can see the Kabbalah tree or the mm -hmm. tree of life or the stargates. Same yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. uh, the universe, the, the, the galaxies or the uh, neurons in your brain. Same. Looks the same. It's the macro and the micro. It's all different like depictions of the reality, you know, so <clears throat> depending on how you interact with it. You know what I mean? So me 
and this is not something that someone showed me. Like I see it through my mind, right? And after mm -hmm. I've learned and I've studied and I've, I've cross-referenced and I've learned to understand it. But basically what I do, and it's really fast. It's not like I'm flying on anything. It's really quick. I just go through the gates and I get the, the information, the, the, the light codes, if you want, the, the, the coding, the data, you know, because mm -hmm. if it's a game here, if it's a holographic reality uh, video game, you know, yeah. like I'm downloading it into me through my chakras, you know, and yeah. down in, in the earth, in the grids. And then I connect it to the others that are vibrating like me that are on, on my frequency so they can spread it to the others mm. and spread it to the, to the earth and to the sky and to everything, all the particles, all the elements, everything that's, you know, because I, I think that that's how we're going to really change, shift this, this mud bug. <laughs> how were you able to unlock those abilities was there a specific unique experience that just unlocked um what you know in the beginning you said the you know we're talking about junk dna and dormant dna and yeah yeah that. well right now right now everybody in this reality is being bombarded by particles of you know mm. uh, the sun our <clears throat> sun it's having uh, x flares uh, m m class flares and uh solar winds and all that and that's the sun he's like charging up with you know like me a little bit what i do you know and then it's throwing it at us because i'm gonna explain what i what i was saying before um our scientists you know like yeah our scientists they um they use um, salamanders because the salamanders, they can grow back the limbs, you know? Mm -hmm. So they took the salamanders uh, stem cells and some frog, I'm not sure which one, uh, and they merged them to create a hybrid that will be able to reproduce, that will be self, you know, uh, sustaining. So for the merge of the cells and for them to be able to really work in symbiosis and reproduce and everything, become a real cell, uh, mm -hmm. they shoot it, they blast it with gamma rays, plasma gamma ray. So this means <laughs> basically that our sun bombarding us is yeah. like, activating some particles into us like the, the our scientists they say that we have junk dna and they it's a big part of our dna that they don't understand they don't know like as if us magnificent beings machines that we're 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 flawless really you know because yeah. If it wouldn't be for all the chemicals and all the uh, attacks that are, mm -hmm. we're not in our optimal uh, environment at all. The food we eat isn't even food. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> it's not, it, it, let's say you buy a dog and you pay your dog $3,000. Are you going to go and give him food? Not go, no, no, no. You're going to get him the best food, right? Because you paid your dog $2,000. Listen, but you're not going to do it for yourself, right? So it's a mentality is really wrong because if we would feed our bodies with really superfoods, we wouldn't need that much. And pure water and we'd be, uh, you know, cut off from, let's say, all the chemicals in our soap and, mm. our, and uh, you know, everything, all of it. Just right. that, just that. Ooh. You're going to be uh, operating through different types of perceptions and everything. Everything is going to be starting to unlock mm. just by that. And with what's happening with the sun. And mm. also, uh, I mean, you know, me, what I do, I, I practice uh, hypnosis, right? And yeah. Um, yeah, and that's one thing that if people, you know, they think that they've been tra practicing stuff and they feel that they're kind of blocked and stuff that we can go look together. And me, I'm really not into, uh, people. Well, okay. For me, I'm not a healer. I'm not, I'm not going to do it for you. I'm going to show you how to do it so you can do it because if I do it, then I'm going to have to do it again for you. You know, like it's going to come back because you're not owning your capacities because we all have them. You know, mm. it's, and everybody's different. Everybody navigates a different. So what I do is that I go into the realms, like in kind of hypnosis with the person yeah. and we see it together and then we can unlock whatever is blocking, you know? Yeah. But, empowerment, actually, people throw yeah. the word empowerment, but when you're actually given the tools of empowerment, yeah. <laughs> most people don't want it. You know, they say I want empowerment, but most people oh, I know, but that's the thing. Responsibility. You know what that's I mean? The In thing. reality, I've seen that so much. Yeah. Everyone says I want empowerment, but empowerment. Yeah. 
You two yeah. actually do uh -huh. This is yeah. not fun. I mean, yes, it's, it's fun, fun but, but it's hard. It's really hard, and it's a but lot actually, of work. Some people might actually think you're mean. Oh, you know, it's Priscilla, she's so hard on me. No, she's like, that's empowerment. Yeah. yeah. If I do it for you, yeah. If I do it for you, you're gonna have to ask me again to do it for you. And me, I'm not your, I'm not your mother. You know, I'm not here to do it for you. You know, I'm, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna give you everything I have, and then you can show me stuff too, because everybody's different. You know, and that's how we are empowering each other. Uh, when we see um, someone that's managing to do something, and you're like, wow, I want to do that too. And then we do it together, and then we realize, hey, man, you can do that, and I can't. You know, and then you're like, oh, yeah, I'm good. And then, you know, that, that that's how you do it. It's not like the mentality is really wrong. Everybody's, like, wanting to take, and they don't want to give nothing. They don't want to wet their, their little toe. And you know what? You're getting to jump in the pool because... Yeah, and it's a lot of studies too, because it's not yeah, just one thing. Yeah, and people go into the builders too. They want the finished product. You yeah, know? they builders. We're the, the ones that yeah, the masons. Yeah. You know, the real masons. And I'm gonna. Yeah, leave. exactly, exactly. <laughs> because, you know, even if we ask the spirit guides or whatever, they're just gonna do it for you, and then you're gonna pay the price. You don't need nothing. You don't need no none of them. You just need you, you know, because yeah. you are them. You don't you don't need a guru and you don't you, you need to learn it, you know, and put the work. So there's ways to do it. Like, but even like my brother, okay, I talk to him a lot and he knows, he sees the crafts and everything, but he's not willing to, you know, and he's like, Oh, I think I'm gonna do ayahuasca. I'm like, <laughs> do ayahuasca if you want, but I mean, you know, good luck. Good luck with what you're gonna see there, you know. Like you're not ready. You're the gonna... jungle. The jungle juice. Is, I'll just leave it there. But that jungle juice. It's when something is being promoted like that. What, what I know from. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a question though. Things people get too emotional, but the real ones are not advertising. Mm. I'll leave it as that. Yeah. If it's on the internet, it's yeah, not necessarily it's being blasted out there, and it's bl yeah, yeah. being blasted out there. The it's running an ones, agenda. Yeah, yeah, the real ones actually they don't even want to be on social media. They're like, I just know. leave the hell alone. Yeah, yeah, I'll just leave it there. They and don't want the means... they don't want the ones that are there to play. It's not a play. It's no play, and this is very yeah, serious. Exactly what's going on right now? Serious. They're also not going to play with you. They're not going to play with you. Exactly. <laughs> this is very serious. What's going on on Earth right now? So yeah, but also like now we're talking so much. You know, like you mentioned a lot of, about sun and everything. What about all this climate change? You know, like all this climate change that they're talking about. Like you know. We will have less of this and the weather, you know, <coughs> parts of the global, you know, it well, will get hot or will get warm. I mean, like cold. Um, <coughs> does it have any effect with all these things? Everything is linked. Everything is linked. Okay. First of all, main thing we need to understand is that us, the humans, we are the ones creating the reality. Mm. We're the, we're the, the projectors. We're the power centers. We're the bad. We're everything. We're the, we're the boss here on earth, but we don't know that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. So let's say we're watching TV and we're all shown the same thing and we all think the same thing, but we're, we're creating it hundred percent. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's why they're doing that. That's why they're trying to run certain types of agendas and telling us stuff so exactly. that we believe them and that we create it for them. <laughs> and then they can control us because we're scared, right? And when you're scared, you're not able to really uh, think, you know, because you're scared. And you're just like wanting to push the other one out of the boat and, and go, you know, because you want to save yourself. And it's mm. really, really that. That's the thing. And yeah. also, but it's, I'm not saying it's not true. OK, mm -hmm. because they're also doing their part on that with all the um, um, the cloud uh, creation and everything. Exactly. They, they have these machines, you know, that they create. Is it called cloud seeding? Or yeah, yeah, exactly. Cloud seeding. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, they're crazy. They're maniacs, right? They're really mm -hmm. insane. Like, yeah. these people are not well. So, I mean, <laughs> with CERN. But it's true. It's true. it's true they're yeah. maniacs it's insane this this planet is run by insane people like if mm. i would be up in et let's say and i'd be like oh boy oh boy <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're having fun <laughs> yeah you know like, <laughs> they must be like lock the door because <laughs> because like 
and they will probably get scared of our you know world or playing they won't, because they won't come until we're kind of ready you know because of that because we're gonna uh hurt yeah. them even if we we can or we can't or whatever we're gonna it's not gonna be a good outcome so that's why and all the all the narratives with uh you know the ufos and everything right now and that we're not safe and blah 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 that's another thing that they want us to think because they surely do not want us to talk to them you know mm. because if we talk to them then we'll see that mm, maybe we're lied to and everything and certain yeah. people we will get contact you know and we'll be kind of the ones uh bringing the, the technologies and all that mm. we're not there yet i mean I, you know i have no idea how we're gonna do this but i uh, I do see it. I do know it. You know, it's just, yeah. it's not uh, information that is given to me. You know, like, no. Yeah. Have you seen the movie? It's like many years ago. I think it's in the eighties. Probably also you fate, you know, like it calls E.T. Yeah. <laughs> the movie. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Have you seen it? It was so funny. Like, I mean, you know, it's, it, but you know, of course with the, now we're talking about another planet or UFOs, they're there. And the government, I mean, yeah, but you're saying that, you know, that, that yeah. yeah, but you're saying that, you know, it's like they, they know that if they come out here, it's like that they're scared because they know these people, the people on earth right now, yeah. they were actually, you know, um, hurt them. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know, so, yep. so they they're know that's like, take a, from them, they're going to, the, exactly. the governments are going to want to take their things and put them in a in a cell and int interrogate them and yeah and they want to like try to you know see yeah, yeah. what they are or you know take like i don't know yeah. like uh, <laughs> research other, more yeah and the other humans are going to be scared or they and let's say nobody's scared and then everybody's happy but they can't just come and do it for us neither like we have to evolve as a species we have mm. to understand that uh the parameters in which we are are way uh limited you know like we can uh navigate through uh wider parameters you know yeah. like uh this earth here it's abundant i mean mm. there's no lack here it's just been compartmentalized and it's been uh, hoarded on and it's like it's not like who says that you put a line on the on the ground and that's that's where i can i can't i can't cross there like we're all earthlings we're all terrans you know we're yeah. all you know uh people from this planet <laughs> i mean right it's yeah. not like you go on uh, another yeah. planet let's say and they're like oh this is that part that part they're all like martians or whatever let's say you know or you know Venusians yeah or, you know and i think the system that has been um taught to a lot of people on this earth is a parasitic yeah. one absolutely and with a scarcity mindset yeah. so it's very when you're talking about abundance i'm sure somebody listening is thinking of survival you know yeah somebody's taking we're all kind of them. surviving right now somebody like everybody's is, struggling is, yeah you know, somebody's taking you know? from them. somebody it's a system which yep. has been put in place you know it's a scarcity mindset parasitic a capitalistic yeah. one which means some they have and they have not so there's a lot of work to be done when because you mentioned yeah. human evolution and it got me thinking about how do you evolve beyond the systems and maybe you yeah. can walk us through that because you have a you, your work is actually assisting others who are yep. struggling through this human evolution so maybe you can walk <sighs> us through some of the tools and practices that mm -hmm. people can adopt and use yeah for sure i mean um you know for me my kind of awakening has started also with the medical system okay because uh five years ago i couldn't walk okay i was uh disabled and i was on many medication and also my son uh he was diagnosed with autism and adhd mm -hmm. and um at three years old he was on three different types of medication okay mm -hmm. and we were put through these protocols of uh what what i'm supposed to do and this and it was impossible it was impossible mm. my life was hell it was hell okay and i really didn't know what to do right i had mm. no idea and of course like the crafts they, they they started appearing and everything changed and everything but that's my story for me to be able to show others you know what we're supposed to do so first of all the medical system it's not there to help us you know it's 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 there to patch the problem give mm. us pills make us more sick because we're like clients Okay. Mm. When you go to med school, 
when you put so much money in your school and then you get to the end of med school and you realize this, you're like, oh, well, okay, fuck it. You know, you get, you mm. just go with it and then you corrupt it and you go with their, you know, like they corrupt right. you, they corrupt you, they get you in a corner and they force you like to be corrupted. And then you do something and then you're doing it against your will, but you, you don't have a choice really because of all. So you be, you think you're bad and everything. So it's really, mm. the, it's, it's not just one thing. It's all of it. Right. But, um, yeah. So me, um, I do believe that the way for us you know, to change the world, basically. <laughs> it's not just one thing, again, okay? It's in everything, everything. For me, um, you know, I think that the first thing we have to work on is the physical kind of body, you know, if we're going to be able to access the other things. So, you know, through the food, through... um how we uh the products we use but again these things are expensive right mm. so you know it's it's not it's not an easy thing there's a lot of um self-sufficient uh ways you know to live and i think that that's really basically we have to unplug from the the mother uh feeding us you know like the grocery store and the uh, governments and this and that we have to be self-sufficient as much as we can yeah everything that we can that's the way that we're going to take the control back you know me i have a uh, a business plan that I'm working on. You know, I want to create a uh, wellness center, an alternative natural wellness center for atypical children and their families because the kids, they come in with abilities right now. They come in with higher sk skill sets and they're mm. very sensitive. <laughs> you know, it fucks up their systems like it's too much for them. That's what happened to my kid. He was fine uh, when he got his vaccine. Dude, dude, dude. He was like tilting, like repeating wow. himself and everything. And now he's okay. Huh? He's in a regular class. He doesn't take any medication. And I so, so have control on the environment here because I live with my father and my brother that are not okay. super cooperative. So, I mean, I'm not in control of the environment. So yeah. I think that the first thing is controlling the environment. You know, if you're able to not eat too much GMOs, if you're able to, um, not use too much chemicals through every product that you use. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you're able to um, start meditating in like, not just meditating, but more like using the uh, quantum fields through your chakras. There's different types mm -hmm. of meditation. But me, what I do usually is that I try to connect myself to my higher aspects, to my divine God self, you know, okay. and download, download the programs, my programs, my blueprints, my mm. divinity, my perfectness, if you want, you know, like in mm. every way, in all my systems. And I do it consciously because that works also, you know, but it's not just one thing. It's not like you're going to meditate yourself uh, healthy, you know, you have yeah. to do everything. And once... Once you feel a little bit better, you can do the detox also, you know, to take mm. the metals out of your body and everything. Mm -hmm. Supp supplements, you know, like with the dog that you're going to pay like three <laughs> yeah, or five yeah, thousand yeah. dollars, what you would do for that dog, you need to do it for you. <laughs> you know, yeah. you need to do it for you. And yeah, yeah. Also, there's the breathing that's really, really, really powerful. The breath work, because it activates the neurons in your brain. It creates new neural pathways. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it uh, allows you to access other information like your, your, uh, your uh, how do they call it? Um, your uh, high mind, your universal mind, you know, like uh, in the esoteric, more like a little bit more like um, uh, occult teachings you know they will tell you to try to access your god mind you know your higher mind which mm. is like when people say that oh i had a channeling or an idea or whatever you know that's where you get it so you can apply that to everything right yeah so, yeah but it's on, but it's on. yeah but it's true what you're saying that you know like out there if something's gonna go wrong with you or with your kids or you know it's like <laughs> like out there the hospital the doctors and it's like what well, you're saying that you know they they get the money they get the money but you don't know what it is that they're gonna um no you, i mean it's i don't like, tell them at all no. they, they told me that i would never walk normally again okay that i would be uh taking medications all my life and now i can run for an hour okay like easy because i've learned how to you know 
changed my body in a, in certain ways that I've and I've put the work. I mean, I've I've done the exercises and it hurts, and I've done the massages and and rubbing and everything and working with the energy and everything with my own body to fix my my streams of energy and my lymphatic systems and everything. And once you do that. Um, and you fast, the fasting also hurt, uh, uh, helps a lot because when you fast, um, when, when your body doesn't have anything to feed on anymore, you literally feed on all the toxins and everything that's not good for you. Mm. And you are able to create new stem cells, like regenerate. Mm. You know? So it's not doing it like crazy, but it's really like, it's not easy, you know, like you have to do it's, it. It's also very like pow. you know, it's, it's, a- it's a serious stuff to tell somebody like you're not able to walk anymore or you're not gonna you, you're not gonna be able to walk anymore or you yeah. have i don't know like a, a month to live in or six months or something you know and then suddenly you can see everything changes it's yep. it's like um you hear that actually lately a lot yep amongst people yeah, think about the arrogance of the person speaking those words of power mm. oh, i mean he life. believed him he believed but himself you should not have that the arrogance to think that you have the yeah. power and authority to speak such words of power yeah. onto someone's life and say, exactly, never walk again. Well, I'm not blaming him because mm-hmm. in his understanding, what he learned in school, I wasn't going to be able to heal ever, you know, but the modalities are wrong. They, he hasn't been taught the real way to, to heal your mm-hmm. body. You know, like, that's what I'm trying to say. It's just, everybody can do this. If mm. Everybody can do this. What you're saying, yeah. You know, we can all do this. It's just yeah. that we have to apply it in all the little things that they're doing to us, because they're not trying yeah. to kill us just one way. It's in everything. No, it's, it's in our, different ways. our thoughts. You know, because universe is mind, so you have to change what you believe in. And if you don't believe it, if you want to believe it, or you really believe it, it's two things different. You know, so you really yeah. have to believe it. You really have to know it, like understand it. So once mm-hmm. you start studying, that's the part of the studying that's like, you know, it's- mm-hmm. but but again, like if w- when you tell some someone something such as as important, then already you know he or she, it's it's like you know, I mean you go down. Oh, I was, yeah. I was, and, 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 and then you have so many, many and you have, and you have so many thoughts. I know some really good doctors. They know what they have been taught academically and biologically, but they choose their words carefully. They say, "Well, medically, we don't have a solution, but yeah. we still want you to have a positive oh. outlook on life." And I know a particular doctor who did this to a good friend of someone I know. You know, yeah. it's very important because you can the person lives there. You know, completely. Mm. with a different energy yeah and they prescribed me so many medications too i mean the opiates you don't give that to a 30 year old mother with toddlers and everything that's a strong medication hey that this this is part of the agenda okay that they've been feeding so much opiates to the populations Mm. it's part of it they don't really know it consciously but the higher uh beings that are trying to keep control on this planet they know what they're doing through the pharmaceuticals and everything they know absolutely mm. so me i mean it was all part of it you know and mm. yeah it was it's it's like it's been really hard to realize you know when you realize that everything and everyone's your enemy you're like okay yeah you feel like everybody is against you and what who should well, i talk to they can't believe me you know like no and maybe <laughs> every doc yeah no one and every doctor no you one. go to and if you tell them like okay but if they ask you like, okay, so have you been to another doctor? You they look up your, you know, if they look up your case, did they look up your journal? Mm-hmm. And then you know, oh, you know they're tripping. They will, they're they're like, they will, yeah. yeah, and it's like, yeah, but maybe you should do this, maybe you should do that, you know. Um, mm. so it's hard. And then you yeah. don't have anybody to that they can believe you. Maybe they, they think actually you're crazy. Exactly. You know? Oh no, they thought yeah. I was crazy. They thought I was crazy. Now they know I'm right, of course. But yeah, I had yeah. to. I had to walk to the castle, being thrown uh, eggs and rocks and whatever, whatnot. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it was a bumpy ride. Oh yeah, for sure. And with my kid, with the the medical uh, system, it was the same thing. One mm-hmm. day, when I was strong enough, Horrible. I went and I sat with the whole team, you know, of professionals that were trying to help us, and they weren't. They weren't and I refuted all that they were saying and then they were like well okay i was like okay bye bye 
and we ended it there because they couldn't they they I knew more than them you know like I could I yeah. could refute all they were saying I was like okay but did, did you have studies like over 50 years what it does to a little three-year-old to give him that medication because my kid he's already like a little bit struggling I don't know if you you know mm. notice um what are you doing to him with these medications they don't even know right and yeah so basically now um but now he's doing good yeah oh yeah yeah okay, okay god it's okay mm. because all these how kids many, how many parents are not deal, you know they're not yeah or dealing with know. it or they don't, they don't know, know. I and didn't just know follow either. The, 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 yeah, the, the, I didn't the know there were other options, right? Mm -hmm. And now I really understand that these kids, some may, might be really autistic for real, you know? Like, I'm not yeah, saying yeah. they're all not the, the, the good dino diagnosis, but they're, <laughs> most of them are not diagnosed properly. And the thing is that they're higher uh, functioning brains, you know? Like, the brain does not work the same. They're connected. They have memories. Like, me, my kids, they have memories of past lives. They have memories yeah. of, you know, what they're doing uh, in the crafts and stuff like that that they tell me. Oh, you know, like, they come in with uh, gears and, and tools that we don't. And the normal people, they don't understand, you know, really what's going on. And yeah. I think that we really need to assist these kids in bringing them into a place where um, – they're able to thrive, you know, and they're here to show us way more than us break them and put them in the in this pattern that's not even working, you know. So I'm really yeah. working hard on that to to try and manifest this, you know, because that's it's not a small cool. thing, right? It's it's a big thing. Yeah. So I have yeah. to create the business plan and I'm waiting for money on my side, but I'm gonna have to get funding probably, you know. I'm mm -hmm, I'm trying mm -hmm. to get the government into that. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna present to them in a way that listen, you uh accordingly to your uh papers that you send out every year on the uh, protocols that is it working what you're doing no it's not working obviously because you say it yourself it's not working and the autism mm -hmm. is going up 17 percent per year. Yeah, so it's what, true. In uh in 50 years, what everybody's gonna be autistic. <laughs> Like, you know, but that so it's ridiculous. Yeah. So I mean, and I'm gonna explain to them, you know, I'm the, to the best I can with tools that I'm gonna show them. But I'm not ready yet, you know. But I'm working on that mm. because yeah, maybe I'm gonna start it on my own and then get them into it. Because if I get them into it, then when the child is diagnosed with something, they're gonna be processed into. And me, I, I want to create one and create more and everywhere, you know, like. And then you like, have to prove some more and more and more and more. Yeah, and, you know, so the government be always process. against. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm sure it's coming. I'm sure it's going to be okay. Because, you know, I think the timing is 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 right for it because there's yeah. a lot of things shifting. It's and, us. And we it's have it. to do it. Yeah. You know, it's us. We're, we're not waiting on no one, you know, like it's us. Yeah, we are the ones. We are the, yeah. ones we're we're the ones we're waiting for. <laughs> yeah. And I was going to share something when we're talking about visiting the doctors. Maybe this might help somebody listening. But when I was younger, I, I thank God I was taught this. And that was when you go to see a doctor and they tell you anything they tell you. It doesn't matter whether they say you have a cough or whatever. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. When you go home to your family and your friends and your loved ones and say, oh, how did the doctors visit? Go. We're taught to always say, the doctor said. Yeah. Never, yeah. Say, I Never say I have. Yeah. yeah. Never say I had. No, don't say anything where you claim the illness. Yeah. This is not. You can thank the Christians for this claiming that's, and shaming. There is power yeah. in everything. You know. Don't tell no, the baby. True. The words are very powerful. Yeah. And yeah. so we're always taught that you always say the doctor said. Never say yeah. I. I have. I have a cough. Mm -hmm. Don't claim anything. The doctor yeah. said, or my my results stated that. And and then it yeah. just became yeah, absolutely, absolutely, mm -hmm. and you know, like I know that people, it's really like out there a little bit what I say, you know, but it's with little things. You don't start by, you know, it's it's basically doing little things that are easy for you that it's not going to be a big thing for you to do, so you don't get fed up and stop doing it. You know, mm -hmm. just little easy things, stupid little things that you're going to change. You know, and as you go, you add on and let's say, okay, I'm going to give an example. Let's say your toothpaste, your toothpaste, you use toothpaste without fluoride, right? Okay. Because the fluoride, if, nobody does that. But if you read behind your toothpaste tube, it says that if you eat more than a pea of your yeah. toothpaste, you need to go see the anti-poison. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> it's like it's like the old lady poisoning her husband a little bit every night, just a little bit, honey. Right? Yeah. What's yeah. that? It's true. So that's crazy because nobody's gonna read behind the toothpaste, right? Everybody's just brushing their teeth and with the toothpaste and putting exactly a, like on the commercial. They and put you're a, more a big fluoride thing. there is into it, you feel like you're you you whitening, brilliant white. <laughs> And your brain's whitening too, you know, like you're, it's crazy. So the fluoride is really bad for you. You know, it's really, really bad for you. And it cals calcifies your, your pineal gland. So it stops you from having uh, the, um, the vision through your, your, your third eye. Because this is not, this is very real, right? In your uh, pitu, uh, pitu, your pineal gland? Yeah, the pineal gland, but it's the uh, oh, pituitary. It's all, yeah, I think it's pituitary. It's pituitary. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, I'm not saying it right, but you know what I mean. This oh, yeah. place in your brain has exactly the same neuro uh, neurologic uh, composition than your eye, so you literally have an eye inside your brain, another eye, okay, mm -hmm. and it's and looking eye, into the, the only one crystal cave to your brain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's connected yeah. to the crystal cave, and that's why uh, when you do the hum and all that, and you create the resonance, and it makes you uh, able to tap in more, and you know, because when you do the hum, you need to push it like into your third eye to vibrate it, you know, and with your intention, you know, you, it's always a, a bunch of little things that you're gonna do. Oh, oh we yeah. lost, we lost her. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways you know it's like uh yeah. we literally have another eye in our brain physically. yeah we do um yeah priscilla thank you so much i i, I know i don't want to take too much of your time i want to yeah. go there are other things going on as well i know it's okay. and I, I i have to ask this because Shad dropped off before asking her favorite questions on the ufos yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, because she was guys... like, she has to tell us. She we wanted to know who are the guys parked outside your door. <laughs> I would love to know. <laughs> I and mean, guys, we are demystifying all things, so just get a grip, okay? Get a grip and yeah. relax. This is this is. Uh, I mean, is show. I have multiple types. I think okay. <laughs> But the ones that are really close and the ones that are right over the treetops and the ones that are there 24-7 following me everywhere, those ones are not ETs. I don't think they're ETs. Oh, hey. I hey. think, yeah, I think that they're like breakaway civilization, inner earth maybe, or like, um, you know, uh, the sh shadow, shadow government, but like, there's like good factions also. So yeah, they're like, um, they're humans, I do believe. So like, let's say Pleiadians or Nordics, you know, looking kind of beings, because I've remote viewed one time that I was able to see the crest here, okay? And what I got on the crest is uh, linked to uh, the inner earth, you know? I, we can talk about it. the inner earth? How, how do you know? Uh, <laughs> you know about you know about Operation High Jump and uh, no. uh, Admiral Byrd after the Second World World War, no, with the Nazis and the I Germans. Know. I've seen the map of the, <coughs> you know the blue map with the arc. <coughs> Sorry, with, with the Gather, and I've seen that map. That, but Sorry. My phone. You know, it looks like almost there's nothing in space. It seems like everything is in the. Yeah. In the, you haven't taken too much time to do a deep dive, no, to be no, honest. No, it's okay. Yeah, we can do another episode if you want on, yeah, on that. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay. it's too broad, huh? Because, yeah, it's it's like, but basically, yeah. I don't think there are, those ones are extraterrestrial. I think that they're humans, but they might be like the 2.0 humans, like the Pleiadian, Nordic looking. Are they malevolent beings. or benevolent? Uh, I think, no, I, I think they're benevolent. I think they're, uh, you know, like, like us, you know, we're not all good, all bad. <laughs> Depends on, you know, but I think that they're with me and I'm with them. Why are they just packed there? You know, what, why don't they just say what they want? And, you know? It's not that easy. You know, mm -hmm. I think that uh, we're working kind of. You know, mm. and uh, I don't have all the information because that would be dangerous for me. You know, like I would be compromised and I could leak information also 
that they probably don't want me to talk about, you know, because I myself don't access all that I do with them. But obviously, uh, they, they're not doing this for nothing. You know, they're not with me for nothing just because they like me. Am I your mascot? <laughs> <laughs> I know that there's higher ones that are outside uh our atmosphere that i see also you know like but the ones in our atmosphere they're right there i mean i could almost throw them rocks you know so they're right there and they have tech that we don't so they're uh able to holographically like change their appearance they can pop they can cloak and uncloak you know they have their own gravitational fields so they don't fly they kind of teleport you know and um you know, they look like planes, but sometimes they can just like not move for like an hour and then they start moving. But so... they're so. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they teleport too. You know, they can be there. And sometimes it's like almost like they fly over, like they go over my head and then they come back and come back. They're like, they're like in the in a, in a wormhole or a portal. You obviously, know? Obviously, you have seen them. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're always there. It's like crazy. It's like your neighbors. He's like, yeah. oh, man. oh, they know me. I There's nothing I haven't told them or tried. Or I even took my, my phone with the light, you know, and put it on my head. I'm like, beat me up. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> they, they must be like, this one is crazy. Me up. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so funny because, like, you know, I mean, <laughs> I swear, I swear, they must be this one you is hilarious. Out. Maybe they just think I'm so funny, you know, they're showing me to their friends. Look at this one. <laughs> but, but I think definitely that, you know, um, <coughs> like UFOs or, you know, like, I think, you know, it's funny because like my dad, he's also very much into those things, you know, yeah, okay. sometimes when we sit and, you know, talk about it or sometimes we're just making fun, you know, like, and then, you know, and suddenly like my dad can say, but you know what? I mean, they're so studied and the way they can come down to earth, like our earth, and then suddenly, you know, they they just move away and you, you're not able to see them in the sky. No, the no. technology, it's so strong. Yeah. And then there's so much like, like, it's I mean, frequency. The, like, how do you say it? Like, I mean, um, it's that technology is like, so, I mean, it's much better. Advanced. And yeah, yeah and we're still getting there and they're yeah. so fast, like, even it's when you to understand to the moon or you know like uh to yeah, mars it's really hard. Or, yeah it takes like i don't know months years yeah but that's not mm. how we do it it's not how to do it it's teleportation really and it's it's like map um you know mapping star mapping it's like uh coordinates really you know it's from one point to another it's really like that that we do it that they, we have to do it really it's yeah. not like traveling you know through the space or whatever it's not like that it's really like uh teleportation and portal technology and their crafts it's really that they um it's the same thing they change the frequency so mm -hmm. you know like it's like let's say us okay I, I love this example it's the best one for people to understand it's really like the particle of water you can be ice or water mm -hmm. or vapor mm -hmm. right so it's the same thing but it's under different parameters it's uh, presenting itself in the, in the reality differently and it has different ways of operating and things that it can do and not do right mm -hmm. so us we're like ice you know we're like <laughs> it's, not, it's not passing and then but, when but, we start but this thing like you know the plate they're in you know it, it's like when you see like they land and mm -hmm. suddenly they're gone that's yeah. like their home or <laughs> i mean it's just like it's just, different it's types weird. of tech, though. The different types of tech, like the ones, the saucers, like these ones. It's it's different. Like mm -hmm. it's not. Um, I think there's a lot of things going. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know. In my thought, is like I feel like it's a big, huge thing inside there, you know. And yeah. they have everything. And there's so oh yeah. I understand what you're saying. That's it, that's very true. And that's another type of tech also. Like the ones that are metal and that we would see, like that's not uh that's more like us, like the the military and stuff like that, mm -hmm. you know. You know, uh the real ETs, like the little grays, I think that too is the military, you know. Like mm -hmm. I've never seen it. I don't get them. I don't get those ones, you mm -hmm. know. Ever. But um 
the craft you're talking about, I've seen this like uh, in a, in, in a, hypnosis you know uh -huh. and when i got and i didn't i never heard of this before like in the beginning i can sh share with you if you want uh, separately the uh transcript so i get in the craft right mm -hmm. and there's like there's like this avian being and he's there and he's like literally showing off because he's shape-shifting and he's flying and i'm like wow like this is huge huh <laughs> you know he could, he, he could fly in it you know it was really like outside holographic you know it's not it's like the holodeck in Star Trek. Is it Star Trek? Yeah. <laughs> so we can choose, you know, so we can make it like we want it to be, right? But we have to agree with the collective and it's the collective that's not there, right? But it was in your, like when you were hypnosis, right? Yeah, it's, it was in, in a, in a trance like, state. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't there physically. No. Yeah, yeah. Know, but obviously okay, there is. Hey, guys, I think yeah. it's going into deeper and deeper time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we can go do another one if you want guys no problem i'll be, I'll be happy to share to have you back and definitely the inner earth because i think that's just a huge i have a lot to say on that too <laughs> yeah yeah I, that is a whole other yeah it's a whole other and that has to do with the sophia also and the twin flames and everything so I, like all is not what it seems but it's all linked and i can tell you if you want next time Oh yes, please. <laughs> and then Sha, I know you. <coughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you can see she's getting into. She wants to know the technology. I was going into yeah, really like, like but that's that, but that's also a huge sub. I mean, like um, yeah. you know, something to talk about because I think yeah. it's the that how we, we we see them and what we think about them and yeah. how do we believe in them and um. And yeah. the way we perceive the reality also, because like this physical body and this physical reality is real, yes, but that other reality in the mind and the realms and the dreams, you know how dreams are real, right? Mm -hmm. It's like that. That's that. Yeah. It's that. So we have to understand that it's real also. It's that the merging and we're going to be able to navigate it better, you know? Yeah. Definitely, we should take that next. Mm -hmm. Thank you, yeah. so much. Thank you girls. Oh. You're so proud we made it. Yeah, I don't know why we're saying this, but we. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ellie just sent me the link, and like, yeah, she's like, hey, we're waiting. I'm like, what? And then you know, everything is just spinning, and not you know, we don't want to go and tell y'all all, all the magic that happened before this. It's really amazing we made it. But we're yep. so happy, Priscilla. You're yeah, an too. incredible woman. Oh, to all of our you. listeners, please description. Mm, and, yeah, um, we, Priscilla, we'll also talk about your project. I think it's so necessary, and I think people yep. can also learn. Maybe that will be a just a show on its own if you would like, mm -hmm, because autism sure. is a big enough topic on its own. Yeah. And I think across the whole world, the numbers are increasing as well. I don't think it's only yeah. a Canadian issue. And, and it's part of the self-sufficient movement also and being able to own us. We don't need anything else than us, you know, uh, in the realms and in here too. We need to do it. If we want to be sovereign and free, well, we have to put our hand to the paste, you know, like we have to do it. Yeah. And what you shared was so powerful. You healed through energy. This is food. yeah. It's well, the food and everything. It's everything, you know. Energy, yeah. But this is really, it's yeah. really, really, really something. And yeah. I think this is the future of medicine. Yeah, um, absolutely. Energy healing and other stuff. But absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> and that's Priscilla, yeah. Thank you so much for being with us. I mean, it was really great. And I think some of it is were maybe a little bit confusing or like, you know, like, you yeah. know, but the, it's, yeah, you really need to um, have your ear open to understand it. Yeah. Well, if people have questions, like, you know, I'm always happy to explain and help and whatever, you know. I'm here yeah. to share my information. We went to a lot of topics, so yeah, it was. But it was great. I mean, you also <laughs> learned something from it, you know. Yeah. Some things that sometimes you don't really think about, and you'd be like, "Oh, really? Is it really like that?" Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah, but definitely, we will take the UFOs next time. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, girl. Words, I'd like to give you the last word before we get. Well, I mean, you know, be courageous, be strong, and keep on going. You know, there's no other way than there, <laughs> right? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Okay, Take bye. care of yourself. Care yeah. You. Thank you. Time. And feel better. Yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, bye.
Bye. <laughs>